Now, one player who's booked his place early on for the second round is Canada's Felix Oji Aliassim. Let's welcome him now to the show. Felix, uh, thank you very much for taking the time to come to speak to us here on France 24. Now, it wasn't easy, uh, but you came back from two sets down to beat Peru's Juan Pablo Varillas. Uh, after that, you really put on uh, this true show of force. Tell us what goes on in your minds uh, from being pretty much almost losing in that game to then dominating and winning it. Yeah, it's never uh, an easy situation to be in. As you can imagine, uh, you're faced with uh, the, the the reality that you're down two sets to love. And, you know, coming into this match, uh, I mean, I didn't hope or I didn't think that I was going to be in that position. But, you know, sometimes you just got to live with the live with the challenge, live with the circumstances of the moment. And I had to really dig deep to find a different solution. I think, uh, of course, my my service games, uh, the level of my service game raised drastically from the third set. I think I also on the return gave myself a bit of space and was able to give a different look to my opponent. And from that moment, things started uh, going better for me. But uh, I'm happy that I showed a great level in the last three sets of the match. It's impressive to really see. You faced off, of course, uh, on the uh, Philippe Chatrier, uh, a mythical court, as we were mentioning just earlier. Uh, and this is where, of course, all the greats have gone on uh, to win it uh, in Paris. What does it feel like uh, playing at Roland Garros, uh, but in particular uh, on the central courts? Yeah, it was a great feeling. I've always dreamed of playing on that court since I'm a kid. Um, and now I do uh, for my first round here. So my first win in Roland Garros and on the, on the Chatrier court, uh, as you said, it's mythical. It's so much history. goes um, goes back on on that court. So many epic matches. So it's uh, it's fun that, that I get my first win on that court, and uh, I enjoyed my time. The crowd was amazing. So hopefully, this is uh, I'll get many more wins on that special court. Well, it's the first time as well. Uh, of course, you make it through to that second round. Uh, so brilliant achievements. Uh, recently. You won it in Rotterdam. Uh, we're seeing the younger ones like yourself slowly taking over the tennis team. Uh, it seems like there's a pretty exciting future ahead for tennis. Yeah, I think so. Uh, there's new players, um, you know, like myself, but many others. I think, yeah, new faces that I think the fans can enjoy. And we're really challenging the, the best players in the world right now. Um, that's exciting. I'm, I'm excited personally to be a part of it. You know, hopefully I really, you know, put myself in a position to compete for the biggest titles of our sport in the years to come. Um, but I think I'm on the right path. Uh, it's going to take still a lot of hard work, but uh, I hope to, to, be, to be lifting big titles one day. Now, there's something we haven't mentioned yet, but you've also got another incentive uh, that's pushing you to play uh, hard on the court. Because whilst you're out there, uh, you're actually also raising money at the same time. Can you tell us a bit more about that? That's correct. I've been um, doing it since the start of uh, 2020. Um, every point I win, $5 goes to a cause that's really close to my heart, which is the, um, the youth in the country of Togo, which is a country of origin of my, my dad. Basically giving um, you know, the, the money to an organization called CARE, which, is, which operates in a, in a village of, of Togo and tries to give better access to education in school at a young age to boys and girls, give them good facilities, renovate. Um, and improve um, soccer fields and, and, and sports fields. So it's really all about the education and, and, and the youth. And we've raised now tens of thousands of, of dollars uh, with you know $5 from my part every point and $15 from BNP Paribas. So it's a great project and um, a lot of good things are happening. Today. Fantastic. Well, just uh, very briefly, because you mentioned education there. Uh, what, ten what has tennis taught you? What does it bring to you in life in general? I think in general, it's taught me, you know, uh, determination, of course, work ethic, uh, discipline, and uh, to really, you know, push yourself. And and whenever you're faced in, you know, you're facing difficulty, like the match, for example, yesterday, you try to to think of solutions and you try to approach it with a positive mindset. And I think, you know, people can relate in, in different spheres of life. But I think that's one of the things that uh, tennis taught me is to accept the challenge and um, and and respond it to it, respond it, respond to it with a with a good attitude. All right, brilliant. Well, thank you very much. Uh, anyway, for coming on uh, to speak to us, uh, we'll be watching uh, that second round very closely. Uh, I know we both will uh, together, Delano, uh, and as we'll be following Roland Garros for the next two weeks. Fantastic stuff. Thank you very much for that, James. James Rosina there with the sports news. More news coming up. Stay with us. It's France Twenty Four.